close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice where the breath is most prominent in your sense of the body, and focus your attention there, and let that sense, that little point there where you're focused be comfortable. It doesn't have to be a small point, it can be a large area, however large you like. The important thing is that you breathe in a way that allows that to be comfortable, because you want a place where the mind can settle in and stay. Because when it can settle in in the present moment, then it has a position of strength that's not blown around by things. We start working on developing the good qualities of the mind. That's what the word for meditation in Pali, which is the Buddhist language, means. Bhavana means to develop. And we use this as a foundation for developing all kinds of things. Like today's Thanksgiving, of course, we want to think about gratitude. There's a saying in Thailand that the sign of a good person is gratitude, because it means that that person appreciates the goodness that has been done for him or her, particularly from people who helped or gave help even before you asked for it your parents, your teachers, whoever has been helpful in a way that you've really benefited from. You should be grateful for that, because they made that choice. It wasn't that, like they had to give you help. It wasn't, that you were, it wasn't that you were entitled to it. They decided they wanted to give it. And sometimes it was with a lot of difficulty. Now, if you appreciate that, if you have a sense of how much you owe them, then it's likely that you will be a good person too to pass that goodness along, because you realize that goodness is a good thing to begin with, and also that it takes some effort. People who don't have any sense of gratitude don't really want to make the effort. They think things should just come to them, and those aren't the kind of people you can trust. So you want to make yourself a trustworthy person. Stop and take time to be grat to have some gratitude for the people who've helped you, and if there's any ways you can pay them back, then you can. As the Buddha said, the best way to repay your parents and teachers is to get them to behave in good, well, in good ways. Of course, that's difficult. If you're trying to teach them, they may not like it, but you can set a good example. If there are ways in which they're breaking the precepts, you observe the precepts. If there are ways in which they're not generous, you try to be generous. In ways in which they're not wise, you try to be wise. And hopefully some of the example will rub off. And then if they're not around to pay, repay, then you try to spread that goodness to other people. This is how goodness gets propagated in the world. You say, this is an expression of the goodness I receive from my parents and teachers. I want to see this not die in the world. You look around us and you see goodness that seems to be dying everywhere. People are getting more and more difficult to talk to and to agree on things. But you don't want to be one of them. You can set a good example for the world. You say, I've got this good example from my parents, and I want to keep it alive in the world. I've got this good example from my teachers, I want to see it stay alive in the world. And so you find ways of being helpful and spreading some goodness around in the world. Now this takes strength of mind, because a lot of people will not respond in the way you'd like, but you can't let that affect your goodness. This is why we have to find a resource inside, and this is why we meditate, is to get this sense of inner strength. That allows us to be good despite or whatever else is going around us. The conditions for goodness have to come from within if you really want to trust them. And this way goodness gets spread into the world. You become a trustworthy person. And that's a gift both to yourself and to the people around you.